made no separation to show that you're above everybody on the card yet. Mm. Only thing that shows for you is your numbers, and that, that comes from who you are, who you are, and who you were. Mm. Not from like what's going on here. Like you're not a problem. Like niggas, like a lot of battle rappers don't really. Nobody really look at Cassie like a problem in the ring. Damn. You named yourself the problem, and nobody see you as the problem. <laughs> like just the hustler, man. You're just the hustler. Cause after you beat me, it's like I'm the. The end, like you know, Mario. I'm like King Cooper. It's like once you beat me, the game over. Yeah. So if they beat me, what happened? Like, Word. what? What did they do? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they didn't even. No. They like, so you could tell that they didn't win. They don't even feel like they won. Like, so I understand John John saying that, but. It don't matter what John John say, bro. Like, he gonna say what he gonna say. End game. It's that we, time. We are officially here. Yes, 30 sir. days. 30 to days. End game. Man. 30 days, man. Uh, first, I just want to start off by saying um, salute to you. Great year. Cody run. From the fans, you know, <laughs> fans giving you the credit. Uh, you just in your bag and you just announced you versus Cassidy, the hustler, the energy. How did this come about, John John? The hustle and the energy. Nah, but um, I mean, it's been in the works for a couple months. You know what I mean? Realistically, it's been in the works, going back and forth. Um, it just made sense, and there's been a lot of parties that been that's been kind of inquiring about me and Cassidy behind the scenes. Um, but as far as making impact, if I wanted to make a real statement, if I said I want to do a big event, I know I've been, you know, people been anticipating politics as usual too. And you know what I mean? So when they see the end game, they com was confused in politics usual too with the end game. Is that nah? Like it's two old, you know what I mean? Different things. Politics as usual was a collaboration I did with Mayor Mondell. Shout out to uh, Mondell Robinson. That was a collaboration. So I wouldn't do a politics as usual without him. You know what I mean? Like, um, but this is end game. So I knew I was, I was gearing up for something and I knew I wanted to make an impactful year. So, and uh, <clears throat> to really make a staple, um, you know, you get Cassidy, you get different eyes on it. You get Cassidy does bring the energy. He does bring the numbers. And there's a deal in place that's, you know, everything go well. Bring millions of dollars in the battle rap. Millions. Millions. So when you need that type of reach, that type of outlook, you got to go where the numbers are. And the numbers are with Cassidy. Mm. So... You asked, this, this was a, it, was a, it was a business decision. I know people want to see me and Mook. What's up with you and Mook? We, Mook? we could get there. Like, that ain't, that's, that's, that's smoke. But, um, but this time, it was a little different. It was an ex exec executive decision. You know what I mean? Like, y'all keep forgetting. I play two roles here. You know what I mean? Y'all keep forgetting. So, um, y'all going to understand why soon. Y'all going to understand why. That's me just trying not to say too much before October 19th. Mm. <laughs> so, y'all going to understand? So... It could have been Mook. Yeah, it could have been Mook, but the Mook situation came about while me and Cassidy was already in the works. Okay. So it's not like I'm about to abandon what the fuck is going on and just because Mook wants smoke all of a sudden. Ah, right, Mook, you got to wait. I know you don't like hearing that, but Mook, you got to wait. <laughs> get in line, Mook. Like, nigga, I'm telling Mook to get in line. You know what I'm saying? So... You talking, yeah. you talking kind of crazy right now. It's a fact. Like, I don't care. Like, popped up and everybody just want to, you know what I'm saying? John, what's up with you and Mook? I'm with that. Don't get it fucked up. I, you know what I mean? But this was already in the works. You know what I mean? And this is going to play a, a, a better part for what I'm trying to do here. All right. I'm going to start it with this, right? Um, this is the matchup. Okay. You versus Cassidy. Mm -hmm. How you feel about finally locking horns with a legend like Cassidy? And what does this mean for your career? Um, we all got the same story, you know, coming up where we all rapping, we seen Cassidy, we heard the, the stories about Cassidy, the legend of Cassidy, and I'm very close to that. Cassidy was signed to Rough Riders, man, I'm from Yonkers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know, like, Rough Riders Studio in the Square, like, I've been there, like, a lot of times. I know D.Y., I know all of them. I grew up with Kid Style, Sheik, DMX, like, I grew up with them, so it's like, so I'm very... So there's, there's a lot there, you know what I mean? Um, and I never thought about battling Cassidy either. I never thought like it would, even when he came back outside, I know there's been like um, 
like I, I've done interviews on Champion and shit that says certain things about Cassidy, but it was like, it was just, you know what I mean? If it happens, it happens, but I never thought it, about it, that. What it would what'd you say specifically, if you remember? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. I, don't okay. remember. I just saw the clip, and I don't even remember. <laughs> Like, I don't even remember seeing that, and I seen the clip, but okay. it was somewhere along the lines, I'll fuck him up. Well, we're here now, so I could just yeah. do it, you know what I mean? But it definitely does a lot for my legacy, especially especially this year in particular, you know what I mean? But this year does a lot for my legacy. So to say I got Cassidy on my resume, like now, now I feel like the conversation changes a lot because when you add that to my already stacked resume, with you know what I mean, with Mook waiting in the wind, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, um, <clears throat> it's, it's crazy. So I'm not going to deny the moment. I know the moment, what, what this is. And every time there's been a, a moment for me, I know how to exceed in those moments. So now you're going to put me in a situation where this could be my biggest moment. So just expect the best John John. Just mm. expect that. Expect something. I'm telling you. Well, I, I don't even know what to expect right now. That's what makes it so crazy. When you, when, you, when you look at your year this year, like, you know, last year I gave you a lot of credit just for being outside and fighting and putting on so many different dope ass battles and ending it off with easy to block captain right. and like kind of like, and at that battle, I felt like you finally like, got, you was 100% in your groove. You was like all the way back in your groove. Yeah, yeah. When you look at this year, you haven't battled as much, but it's been so impactful to the point where they're giving you, like the fans are really mm. calling you out for champion and things like that. Mm. So in a sense, you gave them less this year in a sense as far as just battling, and they're giving you the, the Cody nod mm. and all of that. What mm. does that mean to you? Like when you look at it like, damn, I gave, I gave, I gave y'all more work last year. Y'all, you know what I mean? Because sometimes it's not about, like, it's quality over quantity. You know what I mean? I've never been a quantity dude. I've always been like what matters. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, last year it was more so about staying active, getting back in the groove of things, also getting shit on track with bullpen at the same time. So it was a lot of figuring out. Um, so when we go into this year, you know, I ended ended last year was kind of um, was kind of bad with October with dope in a pen and pandemonium how things went went sour and although a lot of them things was literally out of my control I still took it on the chin so it was still like you know what I mean bullpen you know the people waiting in the wind waiting for anything to go wrong with bullpen just to speak bad on it so they just jumped on that and it was cool so it was like so this year I already knew what to avoid and what I was on so I was on I was on two different missions this year you know what I mean I was on a mission to I right, Let's show that bullpen, whenever we step outside, we're going to be of, you know what I mean, something worth mentioning. Because niggas been playing with bullpen for so long. Like, even you sometimes, like, what the fuck? Like, I can, like, bullpen out a major, like, what do you mean? How do, like, what do y'all mean by that? Yeah. Like, real talk, though. Yeah, yeah, nah, fact. Like, the only thing that, could, that I could feel like would be the separation is the budgets that niggas put out. That's the only thing. Yeah, you already had a bigger budget than bullpen. Chrome had a bigger budget than bullpen. RBE had a bigger budget. But that doesn't take away from the impact we made. Look at who we had in the building. We done had, like, what? Yeah. You know what I mean? We done had right. big names in this. And this has been 90% independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no ties with me. There's no fellowship going on. Like, there's no, yeah. and, and I fuck with everybody, but I don't depend on nobody for nothing. I go make it happen. We got millions of views. We created our own stars. Mm. We got the big stages. We got, what are you talking about? We're doing events with Julio Jones. We got Shaq showing up in the building. Like, what are we, so when y'all try to act like bullpen is not a major, like, what are y'all talking about? It's like, I don't want to give it the credit. So now here we are, we're in game. <laughs> yeah. It's about to be the biggest event of the year. Facts. Nobody had a venue like this. Facts. All year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The other big event was politics as usual. Yep. So it's like, so what so what so what's the question now? So it was just that was the motivation and then it's still the disrespect on my name. Like why like how could y'all keep doing this? Like when you see the resume and you so once what I did was I just tuned all that shit out. I really tapped into where that shit don't matter because the people that saying something, they're gonna say that regardless. If, they, if you could really ignore the work that I put in just to say some left field shit, that means that's what you want to do. So I'm not about to base my performance on trying to impress you. Here I am, I'm trying to impress me. I want to be okay with my performance. I want to watch this shit back later and be proud. Like, yo, I did that. And, I, and that's been my mindset every battle. So it's just like, I'm going to rap. And if I feel like I'm better than the person I'm about to be in front of, I'm going to show a fucking separation. 
Mm-hmm. So that's just been my, my whole shit all year. So when niggas are saying, yo, John John, are you going after Cody? No, my mission is way bigger than Cody. Gotcha. Y'all gotta pay attention to what I said to Coffee. You can't pay me to care where I rank for the year. Mm. <laughs> I'm just making it clear, ain't no way we compare. Mm-hmm. Like, my mission is bigger than salute the champion. But it's of like, course. I'm not chasing down Tay Rock. If that's the case, I'll yeah. take three more battles right now. Y'all just seen me take a battle in three days. Speaking I could of, take three more battles if, that, if, if it's a champion race. Speaking, well, you know, speaking of Tay Rock, um, I did the interview with him. And oh, man. I, I, you know, I, I announced, you know, the battle because it just happened and everybody. See, I didn't go to that house, right? He, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that nigga ain't pushing me in no pool. I ain't going nowhere. You know, no large bodies of water in Tay Rock. It's over. Like, you know, nah, fuck that. It uh, just announced right now Cassidy versus John John Adon. I know you said Cassidy's just said oh just announced. End game. End game. End game. End game. End game. Nah. JJ. <laughs> just announced on the URL stream at that. AJ. <laughs> JJ, yo, you're making me mad. He's bringing bro. Cassidy back, and it's a, it's out. Like the card is out. Yo, like you're making me mad, bro. <laughs> JJ, you trying to take the belt, bro? You see that, right, Rock? Yo, you see what that nigga trying to yo, do, right? Making me mad, bro. Yeah, he just had a good night today. Yo, JJ, I'm, he battled get, in I'm, three I'm days. Pu- I'm pushing him in the pool when we get back, bro. Y'all both battled Joe's this year. Yeah, pool, yeah, it's, it's getting, it's I'm gonna be interesting, in pool, bro. <laughs> what is he doing? He's trying to, he got Cassidy, bro. Yeah, Cass. I'm pushing him in the fucking pool, Cass. Bro. I'm like, yo, bro, you want some liquor? <laughs> yeah, pour him a shot. <laughs> Fuck out of here. All right. Tay Rock's reaction, I feel like, is everybody's reaction when they first see the car. Like, oh, it's, you go in there? It's like unbelievable. It's yeah. like, this is really happening. Even now, you got people, a lot of people questioning because Cassidy ain't posted. Cassidy ain't do this. I'm not even rushing him to do that. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because, first of all, y'all think I would announce some shit like this without it being locked in? Y'all would think I would, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, Cassidy? Like, that's too big of a name to be playing with. Nah, facts. Like, come on, man. And, and just for the record, I did hit him up, and I was like, yo, Cass, I see, you know what you about to do. He just, he just sent me, he said, bars is back. He yeah. sent me some whole shit in lights and said, bars is back. I was like, oh, shit. John John better be scared. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, my ne- I'm ne- terrified. My I'm next terrified. question is expectations, right? Yeah. Cassidy has a battle since 2021 against Hitman Holla. Mm-hmm. What kind of performance are you expecting from him, and do you think he can match your level in today's battle rap scene? Um, I definitely, this is battle rap cliche, oh, he's going to be the best he ever been against me. But I really feel like that because with Cassidy, he has been getting better every battle. And on top of that, even though he's been getting better, it's like his expectations been getting lowered. So that makes it more of a dangerous fight. Like, you know what I mean? He's getting better, I know this, but the expectations is, um, the expectations is, uh, like, I, I don't, even though I expect him to be the best he can, like, where I'm about to go with it, knowledge, man, like, there's not a rapper on a planet that's going to meet me there. That's that's my mindset. So it ain't even just about him, because if I worry about him, I'll be playing down to his, you know what I mean? I'll be yeah. playing down to my competition. Like, I can't, nah, I got to go somewhere else with it. Like I said, this performance is for me. It's not for nobody else, I promise. It's for me and whoever fuck with me. Everybody else, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Waiting on me to lose, it won't happen this time. You waiting on me to forward, it's not going to happen. I'm locking all the way in. So, so is it safe to say you have extremely high expectations for what Cassidy's about to bring? I mean, higher. Okay. Not extremely high. Okay, I got okay, higher okay. than what he's been doing. Okay. I don't, like I said, he's not about to be able to meet me like where I'm at. Like, I've been doing performances with the best talent and having performances of the night. Has Cassidy ever had performance of the night in recent times? Mm. He arguably had the worst performances of the night. Him and Hitman, the, I don't want to say performance of the night, but he, you know, him and Hitman was the talk. See, you, know you see, <laughs> you, you, look, you talk about whether he did good or not or better. I'm talking about performances of the night. The standards is different. I'm talking about you a main event. You mm. ain't made no separation to show that you above everybody on the card yet. Mm. Only thing that shows for you is your numbers, and that, that comes from who you are, who you are, and who you were. Mm. Not from like what's going on here. Like you're not a problem. Like niggas, like a lot of battle rappers don't really. Nobody really look at Cassie like a problem in the ring. Damn. You named yourself the problem, and nobody see you as the problem. <laughs> like just the hustler, man. You're just the hustler. You know what I mean, but yeah, I'm. I'm I mean, I'm. I'm 
Only thing I'm scared of, only thing I'm battling really is the expectations on me. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be the, I'm literally, 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 and I have to uh, be the best y'all ever seen from me. It gotcha. can't be the same. It can't be something that y'all used to. It can't be anything that y'all could predict or expect. It can't be that. So mm. that's the challenge for me to go there. And once I find that and get there, nobody's going to be able to meet me up there. I'm telling you. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is, um, I know it's a little crazy to ask sometimes, but uh, just strategic approach, right? Um, you're very tactical in your approach, um, and it's always been praised in, ba in the battle rap world. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a glimpse into how you plan to approach Cassidy, knowing he's known for classic punchlines and charisma? No, can't give you no glimpse. Right. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So we just got to get the pay-per-view of being in the yeah, building. Yeah, you know, got to get the pay-per-view of being in the building. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I really ain't fully locked in yet. You know okay. what I mean? Like, so um, I know what I need to do. It's just figuring out how to do it. I know what needs to be done. Gotcha. So at least I know what needs to be done. I just got to lock in and, and get it done. That's it. Um, I heard you with ARP, and one of the things you said was, I want this to be the battle where they clearly... You know, like, he ain't do it, he ain't do it, but Ja Ja got, he didn't want to do it. You know, going back to, your, you know, your song, <laughs> this song. I said this with the, with the last Philly. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, shit. It's routine, right? Yeah. I said it with the last Philly niggas. You, you look at look at Before I Battle Bill Collector, they put the clip up. When I want to win, I win. I said that in the red hoodie. Go look at it. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, it's, it's different. And I've been saying this all year before every interview, after every interview. It's like, I'm not letting nobody, like, it, it just can't. <clears throat> I'm just showing niggas, like, once I lock in, y'all just got to stop playing with me. So you, you want to be the first one to convince, you, you want to be the first one to actually have Cassidy say he lost. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But I'm going to be the first one to actually, like, body him. Like, like, like it's a body. Like, like no, that's Jeez. a disgusting body. Like how I did Reed Dollars, but worse. Uh, and like, Reed said he wanted his rematch, too, so I'm sure he going to hit us. I feel like I'm getting my rematch. You get it, like... <laughs> It's like I'm battling the same nigga again right now. Oh man, another Philly legend. Another Philly legend, man. Shout out to Philly, man. I got a lot of I got a lot of love for Philly, so these battles do mean a lot to me. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about pressure. Do you feel any added pressure battling someone with such a major label background, or do you see it just another day in the ring? Yeah, it's pressure. It's, it's a lot of pressure. I feel like every battle with me is pressure. Every battle with me is pressure, and it's, and and. As it goes on, the next one is more pressure than the last one. It's more pressure than the last one. And then especially now, like when everybody just expected me to just walk Cassidy, that's pressure to me because the moment it doesn't look like that, it's like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So I got to really make a separation. I got to make it look like how people think it's supposed to look like on top of battling all my performances all year. You know okay. what I mean? How I'm going how I'm going to clearly be better than who's been the best all year. <laughs> like, think about that. Like, yeah. I got to clearly be better than what made me one of the best niggas this year. Like, I got to clearly be better than that. So that's that's the that's the challenge for me. That's the challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and as far as pressure, as far as just battling, what's the pressure on the league owner side as far as making sure this venue is what it's supposed to be, the battle is on point? And yeah, everything. Yeah, I mean, there's pressure there, but like, um, that's taken care of as far as like um you a vet in this shit you've been doing it yeah so i've been long. doing it so and then now it's like more so like this ain't this ain't this particular event this is not work for me this is not like mm -hmm. let me just get this like i'm taking pride in this event you know what i mean this is my baby this is like everything is going to be covered i feel like throughout all my years of running bullpen it led to this point it's like all right you get the ultimate battle the ultimate event ultimate venue ultimate spotlight ultimate coverage ultimate Com like, comp competition yeah now oh, it was time yeah. to show like it's really this really going really stamp it like for bullpen like all time type shit like when you talk about battle rap you're gonna always have to bring up bullpen and look at there was a bullpen era Facts. from 2015 to 2024 now, mm -hmm, right it's, now. It's, it's a whole era you see people come and go you see people like come up off mm -hmm. that stage you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying you see people find new life in their careers we birth fucking two on twos they well. got teams that ain't you know what i'm saying like it's a whole lot of shit that happened from bullpen man so um that's just what it is and sometimes you don't get your appreciation or people can't realize the impact you're making 
until it's not there no more. Mm. You know what I mean? So we're going to get there. Um, Cassidy is known for his confidence and bold talk. Mm. How do you take that away? Or is there a strategy in taking that away? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take his confidence in the ring for sure. Like beforehand, I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> I, I, I've seen him be delusional and say some wild shit a lot of times. But I never said he was delusional though. Okay. So let me You just said it I now. Said it. I said it now because that's the narrative. Sometimes got you, I got you. Battle rap narrative. Got you, so got you. That's why I, had to I think Goods was one of the first person that's called him delusional when they battled. Yeah, because he would say some outlandish shit. But my thing is. I felt, I always felt like he got the right to say that. Like, nigga, we got battles to where people say we lost and we be like, nah, nigga, I won. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? So if he feel like that, nobody's made him feel like he lost. He doesn't, after every battle he's had, you never seen him do an interview and he never came off like he lost. He never, he never looked like he mm -hmm. lost. So he never felt like he lost. Facts. I need to make him feel like he lost. Yeah, he ultimate to, confidence. He need to know he, he, didn't, he didn't have control of this shit. <laughs> like, he need to know, like, what the fuck? That's what happens with me a lot. Like, niggas learn when they get in front of me. It's like, oh, I see now. I see what I got to do. I see. Uh, but unfortunately for Cash, it might be too late to learn. It might be too late. It mm. might be too late, man. If that nigga don't come in here and do some extra, uh, uh, old, like, he going to have to make a Lux like return. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have to do that. Like, this is going to have to be the, the best return he's made. Because if not, I don't, I don't, when is he going to get on stage again? He's going to have to throw his own battle. He's going to have to, and it better be quick. And then just to, so people could forget what the fuck happened in here. Um, do you think him not battling in so long, does that affect, you know, like him not battling since the Hitman Battle 2021? Do you feel like he got to figure it out again? or Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Like, you don't just get that shit back. Like, you will. Because yeah. you chill for like a year and a half. Right. And then you came back versus Red GP. Right. But it's, the difference is I've been conditioned. Okay. Throughout the years. Like, I didn't, I didn't disappear for years at a time. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't happened with me. I, and I kept up with the coach. I've been in it. I'm in the tie. Like, I'm, like, I'm involved. You know gotcha. what I mean? With him, you can't do that. He was getting better and better. He was getting better and better because he was battling more frequent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then he's ever battled before, so you got time to adjust and, and do that. This nigga got like what, like a, a little over a month to figure this shit out, to watch everything and catch up and figure out how the energy change. You're right. And this what's is going the quickest. Like, this is the quickest announcement for a can't. Cassidy battle. Yeah, you can't like, but it's been in the works for a minute though. So, so you, know you don't I mean? know how quick how when he started pending. Right. You know what I mean? If he's smart, he would have been. He would have been started. Um, but yeah, so that's I think that's just that's that's where we at with it, man. Um, bullpen battle league. As the owner of bullpen, how does this battle fit into your vision of the league, and how do you see it affecting the culture moving forward? Um, like I said, uh, this just sums up. This event just sums up what bullpen has been building to. You know what I mean? This is the moment where we we, we create a big stage. You know what I'm saying? And um, and we show. You know what I mean? What we do, like our, our impact, you know what I mean? So, um, and as far as moving forward, like I said, um, there's a deal in place, you know what I mean? Where I'm trying to bring millions of dollars into battle rap. So this event is successful. The floodgates. It's over. Mm. It's that quick. It's gonna happen that quick too. Yeah, I heard you say something about Paramount. Uh, on, yes. Uh, with ARP, when y'all yes. chopping it up. Um, the vice president of Paramount um, is scheduled to be in the building. You know what I mean? So they, they, that just that's just to let you know the Paramount type of people. film big. Yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> want to be clear, you know? Yes. Yes. Wow. You know that, I mean? That's, yeah. Multi-million dollar industry. Yeah, that's involved. Industry. That, that involves okay. MTV. Um, I think, I think, is, is Disney under Paramount? Or one of them, like, they got, Paramount got Yeah, they got their own, yep, yep. You know what I mean? So, I'm involved in that. So, bringing uh, battle rap into that world, you know what I mean? But, um, doing it the right way. You know what I mean? Keeping the integrity, keeping it so they got to respect how we do things on our side, too. They gotcha. can't just get involved and just start changing shit and just trying to do too much. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Because I've been involved with a situation. A lot of these same people, I was I was working on an event in the Bahamas at one time. And um, 
I had the craziest card in the world put together. Mm -hmm. Like they gave me a budget that was out of this world to do an event out there. And um, so I put it together. I got people's numbers. We was drawing contracts up. I even got the funding. And it got all the way into the point where I, I'm on the phone with these people and they, they talking about doing a lot of things <laughs> with battle rap that I just don't agree with. Okay. You know what I mean? So it got to a point where I'm just like, because at first I was giving pushback. Then it just I started feeling like I'm being too pushback. Like I'm gotcha. trying to control shit and I'm yeah. talking to millionaires and damn near billionaires. And then I'm just like, all right, so now I'm just listening. I'm just letting them talk now. It's just like, you know what? If y'all want to do that, I'm not going to put my stamp on it. Y'all gotcha. could put it together and book me for what we agreed upon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But if you're going to leave it up to me, this is not my thing. If y'all going to control it, how y'all want to control it. Gotcha. So then the shit just... They didn't, they didn't know what to do no more yeah. after that. You know what I mean? So it just fizzled out. Um, but I still been in touch with them, some of them same people. You know what I mean? So, okay. Yeah. So, so no, lo no love lost? No, nah, ain't no love lost. Um, and, uh, you know, one of them people actually, um, I invited them out around this time. This is around time Cassidy and Hitman battle. Okay. So I invited them out to the Cassidy and Hitman battle. I took a private jet to come there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm just only saying that to let you know the type of people I'm involved with. So when I say I'm, I'm working on bringing millions of dollars yeah. into battle rap, you know what I mean? Yeah. This, is, this is what's going on. You know what I mean? This is why I put up certain things like, you know, like as far as the people from Paramount coming out and certain shit like that. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's the impact this is going to make. So the support for this event it is way more beneficial than just putting money in my pockets however y'all want to look at it like that like you know what i mean but it's it's more so putting the light on battle rap so these people can see how important it is so they could bring the funds in here and find other ways because there's a whole nother side there's a whole lot of money on the other side of shit that battle rap don't even know is there mm. they don't even know so it's like Everybody focus on what pay-per-view and they mad at the YouTube ain't paying out like that. Or niggas mm -hmm. find their own shit. Everybody trying to do apps and all of that. All of that is cool. All of that is fine. But there's money on the other side actually waiting. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, all this other shit is, is damn near gambles. But they got to see how important it is before they like, okay. Boom, boom. Because once we get them people excited, it's over. That's it. It's over. Oh, man. When can we do the next one? All right, what, what do you need? Gotcha. All right, all right, yeah, give it to him, give it to him. Yeah, open the checkbook. Give it to him, give it to him. Like, come on. Like, what are you talking about? I told you I was planning an event in the Bahamas. Yeah, that was so it. think about what was going on there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, But yeah, so that's, that's, that's to answer your question, though, with this event, that's what's going to happen moving forward. It's going to open the door for all of that, you know what I mean? And I'm going to, you know, play a role in helping, helping uh, these other leagues um, get access to where this money is at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm all for battle rap. You know what I mean? I don't want to make it about me, John John and Don, the battler, or just subjected to bullpen battle gotcha. league. You know what I mean? So here we are. We got the end game. Like, so, like, this is this is it. So you're saying this it's opens up. You'll be working with Bags and Bodies. You'll be working with URL. You'll everybody, be working with RBE, everybody. Black Mar you know, everybody. KOTD, anybody. Everybody's open to work, but the That's, problem is okay. a, lot of, a lot of times niggas be too prideful. Some niggas be too prideful. Um, oh, I want to do it on my own. Like, uh, like, I think that'd be a lot of times why like a lot of leagues ain't never really do nothing at a certain time. It'd just be too much pride. But if I'm not a league owner no more, <laughs> I'm not a battle rapper no more. I don't have no bias. My bias is battle rap. Yeah. My bias is like, all right, let's do this. So when I do this, all right, so once I start ushering shit in, it just, but yeah, I will be working with all the leagues to introduce this whole other shit. Because at the end of the day, it ain't like they need to work with each other or anything. I don't even, the leagues don't have to deal with each other at all with the, with the shit that I got in place. We don't have to do no fucking gotcha. RBE versus URL or yeah. no shit like that. You're just going to no. provide funding. Yeah, I'm going to get everybody individual deals. That's fire. That's it. That's you know dope. what I mean? And, and it's just going to usher everything in. Of course, you got to have motion. You got to have every all your shit together because yeah. I'm not about to introduce you to these people and everything ain't together. But... I'll be willing to help you get it together. Gotcha. That's the difference. You know gotcha. what I mean? I will see what you lack and how it would almost be like a um, consultant almost. You know what I mean? Just like, look, you want to get this from this 
this is what we gotta do. You know what I mean? I'm I'm in I'm in some other shit, man. Movies and shit, all types of shit. Like you know what I mean? So yeah, that's 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 where we going with it. I I was um like again I was listening to the conversation you and ARP was having about just um transitioning, Mm -hmm. you know, doing different things. You see Mm -hmm. ARP's doing different things with the podcast, you know, smack doing what he doing with the coke, Mm -hmm. smack and um, you know, just it, you talking about potentially not even being a battle or a league owner mm-hmm. and just you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like yeah. is that the transition for John John? Definitely, like definitely. I, so I've, no I, more bullpen? Like that's just sound kinda of crazy to me. I mean, it, you can't say no more bullpen because bullpen gonna live forever. Bullpen is No, I mean as in, in its current I mean? state. Like as if you stop doing it, it's like we'll just have the memories of what I mean, we got? That's, that, that. Some, some things can't go on forever, man. You know what I mean? So things can't go on forever. And like I said, I feel like for me to really focus on what I'm trying to do here, there's a bigger play here. You gotcha. know what I mean? I don't have I to hold on to Bulba just because, like, we did what we did. We did it, like, successfully. You know what I mean? We completed mm. our journey, our story. Gotcha. So it's like, why hold on to that when I feel like, this is going to be in the way of what I'm doing here because there's a clear biasness had it once once is bullpen involved. I understand. You know what I mean? So, damn. Yeah. Damn. It's a bigger play here, man. Wow. Um, going back to the event, right? Uh, event details. What can fans expect from this event? And are there any surprises in store that you can hint at for those eagerly waiting? Got a lot of surprises. <laughs> Anything you can hint at? No. <laughs> no. I got a lot of surprises. Yeah, I, was, no I tried, y'all. I, I tried to give y'all something, man. I'm going to tell you, I'm not good at hints. Yeah. I'm going to just give you I'm not good you. at hints. Got Any you. hint I give you, it's just going to They're going to know automatically. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot of surprises, man. It's doing, like surprises from the people that's going to be in the building, surprises from the card <laughs> when we get the roll and now it's gonna be a lot of surprises and it's just it's gonna be a good environment man like everybody enjoyed the vibe at politics as usual and that was my main focus the vibe of everything i feel like a lot of leagues well most leagues they're not focusing on the vibe they just let's book the battlers let's get the battlers there let's make the battlers battle it's like you know what i mean you're not really in tune with the environment because you got to care about how the fans feel yeah you know what I mean? Some fans are paying a lot of money to be here. And then they pay a lot of money to be uncomfortable to be here. Yeah, standing up. Yeah, hours. so you, you gotta you gotta take into account of that. That's how you provide a better experience. Now if I'm I look at it like if I'm a fan, what would I want when I come to a battle event for me not to complain? I don't want nobody to have no complaints unless somebody get on that stage and bomb. Yeah, complain about that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But gotcha. I don't want nobody to have no complaints. Um I want to go back to Cass real quick, right? Um, Cassidy Cassidy has a legacy in the music industry and in battle rap. Do you think he's evolved with the times or do you plan to expose any gaps in his transition from industry rap to battle rap? I'm going to expose all gaps. (laughs) All of them. Like, I'm just going going to do a clear separation. Now, if he manages to do some whole other shit and keep up and do that salute, we got to... A battle of all lifetime. Got you know you. what I mean? But no, that's the whole plan. Like, Cash, and I'm the wrong one. Like, I'm really the wrong one. I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm just being real. Like, you know what I mean? Out of, out of everybody, Cash battle, like, I'm the killer. I'm the one that's coming for blood. I'm the one that's going to try to tear your head off. I'm the one that's going to figure out how to make that separation. A lot of niggas that's battling Cash, they. They go in there like, I'm already better than Cass. All I got to do is do me, and that's going to be enough. You know what Mm. I mean? Of course, I know doing me is going to be enough, Mm -hmm. but let me be better than me. Let me go Mm. all the way up there and really try to show a a clear difference, like a clear difference. And that's why, like, the more I think about it, the more I kind of feel bad for this nigga because (laughs) he's going to be up there looking crazy. I'm telling you, he's going to look crazy. Um, The first part of the question was, do you think he's evolved with the times? I mean, evolve, evolve is is so subjective, man. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, I don't think he need to change and start rapping like Rum Nitty. Like, okay. when these people say shit like that, they don't even know what they're saying. Cass is Cass. Cass got his own style. Like, if you want to evolve something, just take your style and just make it better. I don't think he need to, like, what? Like, it, it's Cassidy. Like, I see what you're saying. Yeah. His problem is not his style. It's the fucking bars. He got, like, <laughs> like, that's it. Like, you can't say that. That's that's bars. That's Barry Adrian Reese, my yeah. nigga. 
nigga. Like, come on. Man, listen. You say man. the problem is his bars? Yeah, like the, the shit that, the feedback you get from people when they say, yo, we don't want to see Cassidy and this and that, because it's the bars, bro. Like, that's, that's, that's what it is. But as far as evolving, nah, like, I like originality. You know what I mean? I like, if I can only see what I'm getting from you, from you, like, that, that's what makes you. So I don't, like, as far as that go, Cass can go up there and do it. Just be the best you could be, man. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> like, but I don't get into that all that evolve. Like, evolve into what? What do you mean? Like, what do you want him up there moving, spinning, like, <laughs> jumping around like twerk, doing all this? Like, what I, do you I, mean? I'm not a lot. Like, I feel like um, from, if you look at his battle from, like, in, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. Because he, he did try to do different things with Arsenal when he tried to do the Nate Robinson shit because the fans were saying that. And then I feel like with the Hitman, he, he, you know, he dressed a little bit more. He just, you know, he tried to do different things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Two, I guess, and I say, if you call that evolution. I mean, <laughs> evolving is just being a better version of you. you gotcha. know what I mean, but I feel like when, when, when the narrative is he needs to evolve his style, it's just like you want him to be more modern. And that's just not like... The problem is everybody is modern. Got That's you. the problem. All yeah. you niggas rapping y'all, exactly To the point where like, y'all all the same, yeah. Everybody is yeah. modern. You want him to rap like yeah. how everybody else is rapping. Yeah. Like, nah, man. Cash, you listen to them niggas <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to give you real advice. I want you to do the best you could do. I really do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, we not, I, like, we, we, we battle rap ops, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't got no. You want you want to battle a great Cassidy. What? Yeah, you Give want me him. the best one. Yeah. Give me the best one. Because that's and the if one you that's kill that, it's like, that. yeah. No if. Why are you using words like that? Because like, it's still Cassidy, man. What does that mean? Hey, listen, that's Cassidy. He's what one of the greatest mean? rappers of all time. Like hey, That's fine and dandy. Is he a know? killer? What is a, we ain't seen a kill with his freeway? Who wouldn't have beat Freeway that day? I ain't lie. You got disaster out of Who there, too, man. Who wouldn't have beat Freeway that day? Listen, put a beat on, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, Cassidy's hi- hiatus, right? Uh, with Cassidy not having battles since 2021, do you see his hiatus as a, a disadvantage, or do you think he's been slightly preparing for a major comeback? I mean, you could slightly, I mean, silently, silently prepare yeah, for major comeback. You silently prepare all you want. If you're not in the field, <laughs> you're not in the field. Like, okay. You ain't about to get the knowledge that you, that you need by not being outside. I don't... But, yeah, the, he had a disadvantage. He had a disadvantage. Um, I've been active all year. You know what I mean? So what that did it was that got people used to seeing me, and they got people used to seeing me at a high clip, and they getting accustomed to where I'm, where, how I'm placing my bars. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where I'm going with it. How, got like, you. You got you to gotta open your ears to see where my angles are going, where it's coming from, how it's doing this, and I'm getting creative to the point where y'all still ain't really catch half the shit of everything y'all seen on mm. here. Because I'm watching what, what y'all quoting and how y'all putting it together, but y'all not really following this picture that I'm painting. Gotcha. But it's helping me learn, you know what I mean? Because now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know how to give it to y'all, how y'all follow it, and y'all understand the level that it's on, you know what I mean? So I'm going somewhere else, man. Um mind games you're known for getting inside your opponent's head is there any message you want to send directly to cassidy i feel like i sent a, a lot of messages <laughs> change them fucking bars man yeah like do something else and, and i'm gonna say this don't try to play my game don't do that don't sit there and try to get in your angle back everybody do this when they about to battle john john they got yeah. then you got to find an angle you got to force some fake shit and I got to sit there and listen to this dumb shit and have everybody call like, what the fuck are they talking about, bro? It's battle rap. I don't even, you know what I mean? So don't play that game. Don't play that game. I don't make up angles. I don't do no funny shit like that. I really talk to people and what I say affects people, whether, whether it does right then and there or later on down the line. So, you know, Cash, I don't, I don't know how Cash feel about this battle, but I will, if, 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 he does, if he thinks anything other than this is his most dangerous battle, yeah. Good night. You know, Cassidy, I've spoken to him uh, plenty of times, and he's like, yo, he, he probably, the most he probably done gave is probably 60%. He said, hey, he, that's the highest uh, from all the battles you've seen so far. Did he say that before the battle or after the battle? After, after all. He's like, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> he's rating them for fucking performances. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't rating your bars like I'm only giving this 60%. 
Nah, nigga, you writing down nah. shit that you like and you ready to go to war with. Well, the, war. His way is like, yo, I only need 60% to beat most of these niggas. I don't need to be 100 to beat like, like, he said, why would I go to 100? He said, if I go to 100, it's like everybody going to be scared. The whole culture, nobody's ever going to want to book him again because niggas going to think it's like an impossible feat. I think for excuses, man. Like, that's the dumbest shit I heard. Like, that's terrible. What? I only need 60%. Bro, you've been losing. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? You've been giving 60% and losing. Like, that don't even make no sense. Give 60% to me. All right. <laughs> yeah, 60%, Cass. Yeah, I don't... Listen, I really don't... It don't matter what he does, man. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? My plan is to be the show. Like, I promise you, my plan is to be the show. And by the show, I mean performance of the year that's the type of shit i'm going for like mm. i'm you know what i'm saying whether I, i'll shoot for the stars or shoot for the moon land on the stars however that go but yeah uh prediction what do you think um what do you think cassidy will bring to the table this time around and how do you plan to counteract his potential strategies um i'm not counteracting nothing okay I'm, I'm all offense. You got to shape your shit to what I do. Wow. I don't need to do no extra to prepare for what the fuck I've been seeing from Cassidy. Like I said, this shit is about me. I really mean that. I'm not shaping nothing. I don't, I'm not in defense of nothing. I don't have to answer to nothing. I don't have to do nothing. You have to answer to some shit. And it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a problem for real. When we get up there, like, man, listen, but I'm not, yeah, I'm on all offense, man. I'm the pressure. I'm the pressure. You just make sure you ask that nigga that what he going to do for what I could possibly bring to him. How he going to counteract. You know, I'm not counteracting that. That'll be me playing to his, playing down to his, to, to my, to, you know what I mean, to the competition. That'll be me. No, ain't no counteract. I'm not even thinking about what that nigga going to do. What he going to say. Nothing. Nothing. Um, if Cassidy were right, uh, was here right now, what would you say to him? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Mm. Um, are we going to get a face-off? You know Cassidy has, like, you know, <laughs> the most legendary face-off in battle rap and all of that. Can we expect a face-off anytime soon? Like, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got but, face-offs coming. We're going we gonna, to we gonna do a... Uh, we got face-offs coming. We got face-offs coming. We're going to do, um, we might do a pre-recorded face-off and a live face-off the day before. Um, but yeah, like, this is insane to me. Like, we, we, we talk about a battle, a, a rap battle, <laughs> and niggas is talking about, I want to go to the face-off. Yo, yeah, Cassidy talked this shit, the best shit with the Let best of them, you know? Let me ask y'all a question. Uh-huh. Will y'all buy tickets for a face-off? Hell yeah. Cool. With Cassidy? Right. We gonna test and John that John? We're going to test that theory. Uh, We're going to sell tickets. To the, we're going to see how much people really care about these face-offs. Um, okay, so you might have a lot of face-off for the, for the fans to be able to pop out. Face -off. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to that. I'm open to that. Um, but yeah, I get it, though. I get it, though. You know what I mean? Like, they, they love this nigga face-off because the nigga say anything. Uh, you know what I mean? But it's just crazy to me how a nigga getting a face-off and say anything. Now, all of a sudden, you're anticipating a battle. Like, that makes him better. I, like, what? You know what I mean? Like, I, like that don't make him better. Oh, Cassidy going to win a face-off. What the hey, fuck? You, you never know what you might say to him that trigger him and go into a whole nother bag. Uh, I hope. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking for that. I'm trying to find what I need to say to trigger him. I, I don't want to trigger him. I want him mad. I ain't gonna lie. I want him mad. I don't oh. want none of that cool shit, none of that weird shit. Yeah, it's smoke. But when, um, you know, like, when you hear, like, the reaction for the fans for you versus a mook, and I heard you speak with uh, ARP and you were like, um, I believe you said uh, mook is the, like, he's like the real competition. Yeah, yeah, in a sense like that. What is, so I want to know, like, so what does that put Cassidy? If Mook is like what you would consider like the, the like the real competition. Uh, you want me to be real? Yeah. <laughs> Please. Nobody looks at Cassidy like competition. Okay. He's not competition no more. He's the name. I'll give him the energy. <laughs> I'll give him the algorithm. 
I'll all, give all him, of that. I give him. You know what I'm saying? He's not the. He's everything but competition. That's what he's missing. Wow. He's missing being competition. Ask any battle rapper if they feel like Cassidy would give them a problem. Yeah. Anyone. There's not one that's gonna say that. You got Goods laughing in this nigga face in, in the face off. It's calling it. That's where the delusion came from. It's mm-hmm. like you got him laughing. Like what? Like do you hear this nigga? Like. Cassidy, like that's how you treat like a, a newer nigga. Like, what are you talking about? Like, this nigga was laughing. Like, that just goes to show, nobody looking at Cassidy like no competition, man. It just, it just looked a certain way because nobody's been able to kill him. Hmm. Nobody's been able to kill him, so it looked like, oh, he's fighting, he's tough, man. I got, I got something for all that, man. Like I said, this just, this just the brink of everything. The energy is gonna go up as it get closer and closer. We just announced the shit days ago. You know what I mean? So um, I'm, I'm still, as you see, we inside a domain now. I'm still in league on the mode. I'm still in, let me map out everything, get everything going. And then lock and then in. It's up. You so you got, I mean? you got 30 days to prepare, less than 30 days when you really think about it and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen what you could do with three days worth of work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, how soon do you, in your mind, do you have to get locked in? Like, is it like, ah, yo, I got to Okay. I can't, I, I can't wait, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm not going to lock in while there's still business to be handled. While got I'm you. still tying these and I'm not even going to think about no bars. I'm not even going to think about every, whatever else I need to, you know what I mean? I'm going to wait till all of these shits, I got all the people in place, the, you know what I mean? The teams, everybody understand what they need to do. Cause they know once I lock in, don't call me, don't not. Yeah, I know what y'all need to do. Look, y'all handle that. Boom, yeah. boom. Uh, send a note here. Y'all handle that. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I could just do me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm lock in on that nigga, man. Um, let me ask you this, right? Um, you said there was a lot of people who were confused about you know this event because they thought the next event, major event was gonna be politics as usual too. Let me ask you, where are you at now with the mayor and even potentially doing the politics as usual too? Is that still something that's in the air or is it like um, I mean, it's moving not, forward? It's not really in the air. You know, I spoke, we spoke about it a few times around that time when I was talking about it. But after, you know, he just probably just wasn't interested no more for whatever reason. And I'm not about to um hold him to that and I'm, that's me just saying that like i don't know we don't know what he got going he could on call you the the and then be like yo what's up or whatever. yeah i'm just saying at the end of the day like you don't know what people got going on you know what i mean before that situation i didn't know mondell so he's not entitled to tell me everything that he got going on with his life if i don't hear from him you know what i mean i don't and i wasn't depending or relying on that either gotcha. as you can see yeah you know what i mean so it's just like regardless of what but yeah, you know, the communication just got faint and then, you know, it just, you know, never came back. I, I did speak to him a few times after that. He'll text and shit every now and then just fucking around. Um, and by him doing I could tell he missed the culture. He missed, you know what I mean, certain shit. But, yeah, man, that's just, I don't know what politics as usual, too, is doing. I don't know. Matter of fact, last time I spoke to him, he was trying to make politics as usual a reoccurring thing. Okay. So maybe he's still ironing out, ironing out details of how to make that work. You know what I mean? He, he has some plans, like as far as putting some battlers on salary and shit like that. He has some dope plans. So okay. maybe he's still putting that together. I don't know. I just, I can't speak on much if I, ain't, if I haven't heard from him uh, um, about that. Let me ask you this. Um, Geechee and Hitman was announced at Politics as Usual, uh, the first event. Right. You know, and of course, you know, they did the same thing with URL, you know, in the past and things like that, too. So, you know, what what was your thoughts, you know, when you seen Hitman make it happen? You know what I'm saying? As opposed to, you know, you guys doing all bullpen and everything. I mean, I feel like them times we seen them come out, I feel like that was Hitman trying to make it happen them times, too. And gotcha. I just like now nah, it's just to the point because. When they came out, like for politics usual, I ain't have nothing to do with that. I didn't okay. know about that. I ain't so that was some some deals being made without me knowing. That okay. was some <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't know nothing about that. So you're like, oh, on bullpen part two? Yeah, Fuck it. You know what I mean? Got so, you. Um and that was just a situation that was presented to Mondell. Like me and Mondell ain't never spoke about Hitman and Geechee beforehand, you know okay. what I mean? So it looked like it looked like he just it, somebody presented it to him. He just like okay, like I seen somebody tag me was like oh they took the Hitman and Geechee battle from John John. That was never my battle. I never 
negotiate that, never tried to book it, never, you know what I mean? That was something that was presented to Mondale and he was he was open to it, you know what I mean? So I don't know what happened in the translation and all of that, but um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so Hitman made it happen. He feel like, you know, niggas was playing and nobody wanted to lock it in, so he just made it happen. I feel like it, it's a better situation now, mm. you know what I mean? Like. You got your own platform. You got your own situation. You control how you want it to go. You know what I mean? So, what you think about you know it going down and like you know the matchup in itself just hit man. You know both of you guys having you know month after month you know right. providing a wonderful you know you know push into the culture. You know people right. saying the fourth quarter about to be crazy fourth just off of y'all two announcements. You know what I'm saying? Fourth quarter is very crazy. very crazy. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. how do you feel about just just hitting? Hit me, you know, hit me and your Fire. brother. Yeah, Yada, you know his, what I'm saying? I've been in his air for the past two years. Okay. Like, bro, <laughs> throw your own events, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Throw your own events. I actually tried to reach out to the nigga to throw an event with him. You know what I mean? I tried to, to like, let's throw an event together. You know what I mean? When I seen that shit with him and Mook, because I know I hit me and get, man. Like, when he, when one thing go wrong, he just fuck everything, fuck everybody, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So I tried to reach out like, yo, I got something in the works, man. Like, let's do an event together. That's you know what I mean? So it could have been me and Cassidy and Hitman and Mook on the same Ooh. fucking car. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, but you know, Holla wanted to do his own thing and I ain't never going to be opposed to that. Like, if nigga want to do it, like, I don't, I'll never feel away. It's just like, I, right, you know, I, I propose something. That's what it is, but power moves is crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? And, um... And the, the battles he's able to pull off, like with the twerk and Big K and mm -hmm. Hitman and Geechee, like that's Rex that, and that's, you man. know Swamp. Rex and Swamp. I don't know. That that's kinda wild. Like I don't know how that came about. Um but as far as like name wise, and it could be a crazy battle. You Facts. Know what I mean? So It'd be the shit that I was just talking about. Yeah, I wasn't trying to undermine the Rex and Swamp battle like yeah. that, but it's just like as far as anticipation. Yeah, we didn't we, we didn't wanted we didn't expect that. Yeah. We wanted Hitman and Geechee, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So this is this is just Swamp and Rex like more icing, but we gotta wait to see how that happened, how that pan out. You know Fact. what I mean? Um Um And he had the Snake Eyes and J two. Snake Eyes J two, that's fire too. That's mm -hmm. bags and bodies. Grudge, you know yep. what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's bags and bodies. So yeah, like well, you, you, you in the building? Oh uh, yeah, I'll be there. Um, who? Uh, I, I don't want to be like. I should be there. I don't I, know if I, I'm gonna be in town. I should be there. Though. I, you know, I know Hitman, your homie. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, winners and losers and all of that. But you know, if you want to give a winner or loser in that battle, Hitman got a lot going on as far as verb, like you know, doing the spaces every day, creating mm -hmm. all these narratives, giving Geechee all of this. And we seen Geechee just coming off the stage with Miss Hustle. Yeah, yeah. And he says the most, he doesn't mm -hmm. care. Like, and that's yeah. somebody on his team. Yeah. So how do you see this battle going down? Um, it could go either way, man. It's, it's too much at stake. Like, Geechee, Geechee notices, like, right now, his biggest battle right now. Like, it ain't even, you know what I mean? Um, and what, you know, I know he looking at like what he could do, especially with all the narratives mm -hmm. and angles and shit that's out there. I know Geechee's excited to write for this <laughs> shit, but Holla ain't no dummy. He see the yeah. same thing Geechee's seeing. Yeah. Like, he ain't no, and then that motivates Holla even more. Oh, y'all playing with me. Y'all see how he tweeting? Like, uh -huh. he, he feel away. You know what I mean? So, this shit can really go either way. It's going to get bloody in there. Yeah. It's going to get very fucking bloody in there. Yeah. So if you calling a win on that, you just picking sides and you being biased. Got you. Like, you know what I mean? I'll get on here if I sit there and say I got Hitman winning, there's going to be for obvious reasons. I wouldn't yeah. get on here and say I got Geechee winning unless I feel like Hitman ain't on his shit. If I was like, but... Hit me in on this shit, man. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Last time we seen Holla, you got busy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? P people are throwing, you got to counter right and things like that. It's and trying to, yeah, like people are throwing so much things in there. It's overthinking. Dude. It's overthinking. <laughs> Does Hitman just have to just do him in a sense? Or is like, you know, because I mean, yeah, we, because you kind of know what Geechee going to do in a sense. Geechee ain't hiding it. Like, nigga, I'm going to talk about everything, nigga. Yeah, Geechee will tweet. Half his fucking round. He'll give you his first round. Yeah, yeah his first round tweet, of the battle. Tweet and tweet say half it. his fucking round and say it. Yeah, yeah. That's real. You know what I mean? So, Geechee don't give a fuck. But, um, but yeah, but I feel like, you know, Holler just going to do him. I think Holler ain't, he, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It still work. You know what I mean? Every time we see Holler, we're going to want to see him his next time just as much as we wanted to see him the last time and the time before that and the time before that. If he wants to come out and just try to, you know, reinvent himself and do some whole other shit, it's like, 
I don't know. You want to go away from what, 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 you know what I mean, what made you successful? I don't. And then they styles match up so perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's like you ain't even got to do no extras. Like, you know what I mean? So that's an instant classic, man. Instant classic. Instant classic. Um, the, you know, how important, I know for both of them, you know, winning is important, but like for the culture, the wins and losses. I know they 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 were Hitman did amazing versus Ill Will, but they hang out that easy loss on his head and things like that and try they to bring make up thing. surf to me, man. Yeah, yeah they bring that years ago. <laughs> so you know how important <laughs> is it for Hitman to make sure he gets this win? I guess in a sense, I think it's more important to not lose. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And okay. Then, and like, don't lose. Clearly, if you lose, it's gonna hurt. It's gotcha. gonna hurt a lot. Gotcha. Like, you know what I mean? Hitman talk big, big boy <laughs> shit. Yeah. And that's why the easy shit. That's why they hang it up because he talks so much shit. The same thing with me with Surf. Like, I talk so much shit for years. Niggas ignoring the fact that I was only responding to this. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. But they hold on to that. You know what I mean? So he been talking crazy with Geechee. So niggas, when 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 niggas talk shit like that. It shows a sense of confidence and you setting your own standard because you setting your own expectations. Yeah. That's why a lot of niggas don't talk shit. What happens is these scary ass battle niggas, they'll talk shit until the contract gets signed. Once this contract gets signed, they realize, oh, this shit is real. Yeah. Oh, and then, then when people start talking about promo, it's like, you want me to promo or you want me to lock in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, what the fuck? Do both. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like telling Mayweather, like, just just when we see in the ring, nah, Mayweather's the greatest promoter. Come on, man. Like, oh, yeah. do both. Do yeah. both. It's, we in that era. You got to be more entertaining. Like, I had Real my shit. boring years. I had my stick it to the bars and all of that. Even yeah. now, I'm sticking to the bars, but at least I know how to place myself yeah. to like where, where it matters. Yeah, Jones. I yes. feel like you built them shits all the way built up. Built them up. I talked yeah. shit all the way through. Kept yeah. the energy all the way through. It was yeah. no no change up, no nothing. These niggas be talking shit, but they don't mean yeah. what they say. Even Calico, they do shit because it sound good. <laughs> yeah, Calico, don't come in there playing, bro. I'm telling you, I'm locked in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think that's, 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 where, that, that's where that's at. This fucking bug is killing me because this fucking um, something spilled right here. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna end it with this. Um, I know you saying uh, you put it like, well, is it is it time? You know what I'm saying? Is that you know I'm here rock saying it? You DNA's chilling in the cut like. Is it like we don't I don't we don't like saying that word because okay. what's gonna happen? Somebody be like John John, I want to see you and Mook. I got this. Boom, boom, boom. And now, we was just talking. Now it contradicts the whole retirement thing. You exactly. Know I mean? And we were just talking at uh, Summer Madness Kings versus Queens. Beasley just said, you and Fonz, he, he, he would like to do that. You yeah, know, I don't know. Like, you, of course, you know. Yeah, but he should have booked that. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got like, you, got you. You see what he said. John, yeah. John asked for Fonz. Well, he wanted to book coffee. Yeah, you were supposed to lock both of them motherfuckers yeah, in. Yeah, like, yeah. It would have been different. So he like, has to hold his part of the bargain. Uh, I mean... <laughs> It's just like so, now the situation is different. That's I, what I'm saying. I don't have no obligation. I'm not locked into battle fines. Okay. So therefore, if if the if the block want to get spent, the battle fines, I'm not bending no corner, cutting no corners to make that battle happen. Gotcha, I don't gotcha. have to. You know, like, this is after the end game, I want to chill out the yeah, cat. Yeah, yeah. Now, would I be open to do it? Yeah, but you it's know what's gonna have to happen. Look at it, Mook. And you know, of you course, know no disrespect to fines, but right. it's like after you battle Cassie, Mook is like. Yeah, I mean, it has nothing to do with Fonz. It's, okay. just, it's just more so, like, whatever, like, because especially if you want me to go on another platform and do it when I'm building my own platform gotcha. and I got this and that going on. Like, we could do it that way. And I don't like talking like that when it comes to URL as far as, you know, I'm going to tax them. They're going to have to pay this and that yeah. because at the end of the day, they put money in niggas' pockets when niggas wasn't expecting it. And niggas made living and made a living off of them niggas alone. You know what I mean? He, they paid a lot of Real bills shit. and a lot of, including me. So there'd be some times where, okay, y'all ain't got the budget that I want. Um, I'll work with y'all. You know what I mean? I, I'll fuck with y'all. Like, I've done that several times. You know what I mean? So it ain't even that. It's just this particular time, you got to understand where I'm at in my career, what's being done, and then what's actually going to benefit me. You know what I mean? So you want me to battle fines now? I told you to lock that in. When you, when you, when you, you know what I mean, supposed to, when you was locking in me and coffee, had that been locked in, we would have been, I, I would uphold my shit, but now, you know, things, things change a little bit. Come on, man, what the fuck? Give me something, I'm about to kill this. <laughs> and, uh, nah, so, you know, so officially, ain't no retirement, you just, you know, 
You just got big things. Yeah, you on the next chapter, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Don't, y'all battle rappers, don't call me out. <laughs> you better off reaching out to try to get a deal or something. Like, yeah. You better off doing that. Like, don't, you know what I mean? Or advice or whatever, you know what I mean? And I'm looking to start managing some battle rappers too. Dope. So, um, yeah. So what, what do you say to your bull? I'm going to leave it with this. What do you say to your guys who've been on bullpen, who's dedicated, who put in that pain, and they might be hearing like, damn, this might be the last year or... The damn I mean, boy, like what? What do you say to them? To to those guys? The thing is, I started bullpen, so I don't have to be dependent on no platform or no nothing. Okay. The Bulls know to not like you realize niggas done started doing their own things, yeah. battling in different yeah, leagues. Yeah, clone on King of the like Dot. That. Yep. Yeah, they're not dependent on bullpen. So like you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Clone got a, a like a bull they, they got a bright future. It's like I'm War not, Town. Yeah. Having I'm a not, big card. I'm not nobody's daddy. Yeah. I'm not you know what I mean holding and gotta do all that forever. It's like so people that feel that way like that, they probably just feel like they don't got no motion without bullpen. Okay. And I don't think that's my fault. You know what I mean? Like bullpen been here. It's been the platform you've been able to you know what I mean be in front of a lot of people, get your opportunities. Bullpen gave a lot of people their most views. It gave a lot of people the most people they've been in front of. Like, you had your opportunities to take this and grow from it instead of just being dependent. Now, a lot of people just, it, unfortunately, it's like that. Battlers are dependent on the leagues. You know what I mean? But um, I feel like, you know, niggas learned enough and do whatever. I don't think, uh, especially if you understand me and understand what I went through with this whole shit with bullpen, I think more so the Bulls would be happy for me. And they understand this next chapter and they more excited to the to the new role I'm about to play. You mm. know what I mean? So but salute to the Bulls. Everybody has been rocking with bullpen and showing love and, and the commitment that everybody gave and and whoever trusted me. You know what I mean? Trusted at least trusted my vision. I had a vision and niggas trusted. You know what I mean? And, and the people that trusted it the most, they was able to to to, to see the most success from it. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So um I didn't pick favorites. I didn't just, oh, yo, this is my favorite, this and that. I sat there and I watched the who did the work and how they carried it, the attitude, who stood out and this and that. And, you know what I mean? And those are the people that became the faces of bullpen. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but salute to everybody that's ever touched that bullpen stage. I would like to have all of y'all in the building in game. It's going to be a celebration, man. Mm. Well, so with that being said, let's go check out the venue. Let's check it out. Let's, let's, you know. Get away from this fucking fly. <laughs> Nigga. Smoked me in that interview. Uh huh. We here. Yeah, we so we live from the upstairs, the balcony uh-huh. seats. So, so whoever get these seats right here. Yeah, whoever get these seats, y'all better grab them first, man. This is your view right here, straight to the stage, and you all the way up top. You don't gotta sit, stand all day. Boo. You got you got seats, comfortable. Who's going on, Sal? Yeah, you know I mean, hold on, just uh, let's start it and then just follow me. Y'all. All right, you know what I mean? So. All right. What's up, y'all? It's John, John the Don, man. Look, we live from inside a domain ATL, domain Atlanta, where Endgame is going down at October 19th. I wanted to give y'all a quick walkthrough before we get into this next announcement. So, yeah, so right now we're starting from the upstairs VIP balcony seats. We got sections that's going to be sold. And as soon as he turn around with this camera, you're going to see the view from where we at. Spin that way real quick. At the stage right there, you can see it. We upstairs. It's the upstairs part. You know what I mean? So we go, let's go, let's, we go and walk downstairs and shit. We got more VIP booths right here. All the booths is going on sale this weekend. Um early early bird tickets, right? Like if, early bird tickets available right now, $40. Y'all better get them right now. But gee, 40? They might not be available in 24 hours. So yeah, so that's love. Go. Just the early birds to get the people that's really ready to support right now. Get them out the way. And everybody that want to wait, you have to pay. So, yeah, now we're downstairs. So this is basically going to be um, one of the entry points. So, yeah, that's the standing room leading up to the stage. You got two bars, one on each side. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's fucking lit. It's a domain. Oh, wow. As you can see, each section, you can see right directly to the stage. Yup. And this background here 
This background of the stage is all digital. That's all. We can make anything show up right there. We got right. a fucking movie playing. All End time. game. End game. You know what I mean? So I just want to give y'all a sneak peek on the venue so y'all can see the layout and know what y'all buying when y'all buying when y'all go to these ticket prices. As y'all can see, the VIP tickets and the booths are not available yet, only the early birds. But when you open it up, we got the stage passes, the VIP, the balcony seats, whatever you need. But it's going down, man. October 19th, John John Adon versus Cassidy. So yeah, let's get into this next announcement.